when I learn a new piece, the first phase is to um, build the, the kind of the foundation of, of the whole performance, is to learn the piece. And it's very technical, so it's, it's simply learning the notes and all the, like building the, the muscle memories and the coordination, having all the finger in the right place. And at the same time also studying the score, understanding the composer's intention. In my experience, it takes a while uh, and a lot of practice before you uh, let it rest or mature. And, and eventually, all of that, you don't have to think about it. All, all those uh, technical parts and uh, all those become natural. It, it has to be very clear in your head and very clear in your finger, but at the end, it, it's like, uh, yeah, it's, you, you play with your heart and it's, it's, um, it's, it becomes something very natural. You don't think about all of that. And this is a process that takes a little bit of time, also because it's a performance. Often you have to, to perform a few times in front of an audience to get used to that. Having to play a piece, a very famous piece that has been played a million times, is of course uh, some pressure, but being a performer comes with lots of pressure. You have to perform in front of an audience, and this, this is one of the pressure, but I would say it's, it's also an attitude of, as a performer, like, oh, am I good enough? I, I have to impress my audience, I have to, uh, rather than being focused on the piece, I think if, if the musician, the attitude is, is rather, I would like to share this beautiful music and to move my audience and to communicate something, then it's a much more positive experience. I don't come from a, a musical family. My, my parents are, are artists but uh, visual artists, painters and um, movie makers, but um, they, they are not musicians, but they really appreciate classical music. So I started the piano when I was six years old. I remember I saw a, a friend of mine performing a Fuelis by Beethoven in a, in a birthday party, and that's what made me want to learn the piano, and I started taking lessons. I was actually, I was nine or ten when I started to give a few concerts in Switzerland, and then I, I kept doing that and I studied and uh, did competitions. I had a, yeah, a time when I was a teenager. Of course, I was not a child anymore, but you know, you, the transition between being a very young pianist and an adult is always a little bit uh, tricky. But I don't think, I, I, I never had time where I was like completely in a state of crisis and say, oh, I hate it and I would like to start. Yeah. So far, maybe. Maybe it'll come later, I don't know. When I'm not playing the piano, I like to, uh, to draw, sometimes to paint, to, uh, I like origamis, um, I like playing chess, I also like playing tennis and uh, also like performing uh, magic tricks for friends. Do you want to see a, a magic trick? Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. So if you just follow the count, like this, it will change this. Yes. <laughs> 